Hello, and welcome to London's Royal Albert Hall. Since its opening in 1871, over 150,000 concerts have been given here, many of which have featured its famous pipe organ. Built by Henry Willis, it was then the largest organ in the world, with 111 stops distributed over four manuals and pedals. The organ is currently undergoing its first major overhaul since being rebuilt in the 1930s by Harrison and Harrison. This Rogers 967 has been chosen as a temporary instrument whilst restoration work takes place. Throughout this presentation, I'll be using the 967 here at the Royal Albert Hall to show you some of the technology, sounds and features common to all Rogers instruments. Many modern digital organs sound impressive the first time you hear or play them. The sound of most of these digital organs is based on recordings of real pipes, known as samples. Every time you press a key to play a sampled organ voice, you hear the same sample. Unfortunately, after several minutes, your ears can begin to tire of listening to the exact same sounds generated over and over. Rogers organs with parallel digital imaging technology are unique in producing pipe sounds that are not always the same, but natural, dynamic and alive, just like real pipes. This sound is created by sophisticated pipe organ modeling and by the introduction of natural randomness into Rogers sound generation. The source of sound in a digital organ is its speakers. In a pipe organ, it is its pipes. And because there are many pipes, each of which occupies a specific location in the organ case, the sound that comes out can be very complex when a large number of pipes are played together. Digital organs attempt to approximate this sound by using many speakers placed at different positions in the room. But this is only an approximation. Rogers Parallel Digital Imaging Technology uses two speakers with separate left and right samples to create each note. This stereo sound generation allows each note of each stop to be placed at a discrete and individual place in the stereo field, replicating each pipe's position on a wind chest. This gives the Rogers sound a unique warmth and clarity. In playing any acoustic instrument, there are always variables. Every time a violinist bows a note, even the same note, it is slightly different. The pipe organ is no exception. Variations in sound are caused by changes in temperature, air density and wind pressure. Each time a Rogers organ is powered on, it retunes slightly different than before, ensuring that these variables are present in the Rogers sound. Imaged stereo sound, the modelling of random variations found in real pipes and the ability to voice on a note-by-note, stop-by-stop basis means Rogers organs both sound and act like pipe organs. Organ stops are divided into different families of tone. The principal family are the group of stops that are unique to the organ and are not imitative of other instruments. Principals are often referred to as the backbone of the organ and play a strong role in hymn accompaniments.
mixture stops add clarity to a principal chorus. This next example faithfully recreates the North German Baroque sound. I will use one of the eight different tuning temperaments available for increased realism. <laughs> 